Hey guys, this is Samantha Geek. Today I'm going to review, again another review, the Simpsons game for the Xbox 360. Now I say Xbox 360 because each diff version is very different depending on which version you get. Especially the Wii version. I heard it's horrific. But um, I'm going to be reviewing the 360 version, so keep that in mind when you're watching my review. This is a review of the Simpsons game for the Xbox 360. The first thing I have to say off of right about the back is that if you're a Simpsons fan, you'll love this game. Get it if you're a Simpsons fan, but if you're not a huge Simpsons fan or um, get frustrated easily, do not get it. First of all, so let's see the pros. All right, the pros of this game are amazing. They have put great gameplay in a movie title game. This is obviously not based off the Simpsons movie, but since it came out shortly after, you have to assume, you know what I mean? This game comes with everything good I like about it. Here's what I like. I like the controls for one. The controls I think are excellent except for the camera. The camera, it just sucks. Alright? The camera on every system I've heard sucks. But on the 360, rather than the Wii, it's a little more easier to handle. Because when you're aiming with the camera on the Wii, you have the Wii Mote. And when you're aiming with the camera on the 360, you have a control stick. Very different. It has all the original voice actors from the show, even unimportant characters that you don't get to play as, have their original voice. So you could go pester, <laughs> you could go pester whoever you want in the game, and they'll have their original voice from the show. Not a single voice has been skipped. All the voices from the show are there. I also love the fact that you get to battle Futurama people in a level. You get to battle the classics from Futurama. Now here's the cons. Cons, it's short. You should be able to beat this in a couple of hours if you're not searching for crap. You see, the dedicated gamer would search for all this crap in this game to get the achievement points. Uh, by the way, achievement points are fairly easily achieved in this game. You get five for just pressing start. <laughs> if you press any other button, I don't think it works, but I haven't tried it because as soon I pre I always press start. I'm not one of those people who press A, but whatever. So if you are a huge Simpsons fan and love the show, I would totally recommend buying it. If you're a hardcore gamer who just wants a game to play, this is not for you. This game is just, you know, one of those things, it's just a kitty game. It doesn't feel good. The, c the camera is frustrating, number one. All right, the camera is so frustrating, it seemed, I felt like just quitting the game. I just felt, I can't even do this. I was supposed to review this for my job, so I have to beat it. I felt like I was going to pull the hair right out of my skull, because it was so frustrating at some times. Especially on the last level. Ugh. But otherwise, it was a fairly amazing game to enjoy. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I would not replay it again. Alright, even though I really like The Simpsons, I would not replay this game again, alright? This is a one-timer. If you need some achievement points, I'd recommend getting it. You could probably get it at GameStop for a low price, because, you know, it's been out a while, and people who bought it don't like it, to my knowledge. So, go ahead, if you really want achievement points, this is one of the ones you can just suck right out of. Alright, well, that's my review. Talk to you later.